Zero Accounting Software 2023 Bank Reconciliation Month Number Two Checks and Account Decreases. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation. Get great guitars. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. We're going to do four duplications this time. So bear with us. Right click and duplicating the tab. Right click in the duplicated tab and duplicating again. Right click in the duplicated tab and duplicating again. And one more time. Right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate again. Back to that first duplicated tab, seven, second one in the series. We're going to go to the accounting drop down, open up a balance sheet type report, tab into the right, accounting drop down, income statement. I'm doing a comparative income statement here, but you can open whichever income statement uh, you have. Tab into the right. We're now going to go to the accounting drop down, look at our reports. I would like to open a bank reconciliation. So we're going to say bank rec. And there we have that. I'm going to tab to the right and do that one more time with another bank reconciliation, accounting drop down, reports, and once again typing in bank rec. Bank rec. There we have it. All right. So then we've got the bank rec. We're wrecking the bank because little hand says it's time to rock and roll. All right. Uh, let's hit, let's do the range up top. We're going to say the bank rec range, dropping it down. And bringing it down to, let's say, custom range here. Uh, let's make this one for February 1 to February uh, 28. And then this is going to be the checking account, the ending balance. We're picking up from our bank statement at 101.590.05. 101.590.05. And update it tab into the left i'm going to do another bank rec for january the first one we did so we can compare and contrast the two as we do our data input let's make this from jan to feb jan or jan to jan 31st jan beginning to jan end this will also be the checking account and our ending balance for jan was 6124185 so, so six one, I think I dyslexified it. No, that's right. Six one, two, four, one, eight, five. Have confidence in six one, two, four, one point eight five. I know what I'm doing. I got the number right. All right, let's go to the tab to the left and income statement looks good. Tab into the left. Let's make a comparative balance sheet. To do that, I'm going to hit the drop down, customize the date. I'm going to start in Jan. Jan 1, uh, let's go to Jan, hold on a second, Jan uh, 31, and then update it, and then I'm going to edit the layout, and add a column up top, date column, the date of Feb, alright, you might want to save this report so you don't have to do that every time, but we might do it a few times because it's fun to do, so there we have it. And we can see that the ending balance for Feb is 9577906, uh, showing on our bank reconciliation, 9577906. But that's different than our uh, bank statement, which we could see there and we could see over here. We last time entered the reconciliations for the deposits. Now we're moving on to the decreases, the checks and other decreases. All right, let's go back to the first tab. Accounting drop down. We're going to go into our bank account information and into the reconciliation section. Drop down here. And uh, where is that? It's not doing it. It's not doing it. There we go. All right, so we have our three tabs. So the tab to the right is uh, the account transactions, middle tab, bank statement transactions, and the tab to the left is the reconciliation so now we're just going to match these two out as we go i'm going to look at the bank statement as we do it so we can kind of tie out 
to the bank statement as we go. Remember, every time you do this, if you're checking it off from the bank statement, you want to go from the bank statement to the books because if it's on the bank statement, it needs to be on the books unless the bank is wrong, which isn't normally the case. But if it's on the books and not on the bank statement, then it might not be wrong. It might just be an outstanding item, something that we wrote, we knew about, but the bank doesn't because it has not yet cleared. That's why we go from the bank to the books. So we got the 357270. Seven, Let's go and say, all right, 357270. Seven, there it is. Notice I, I'm missing the check number. So notice the, the things that can tie out and help us out are going to be the dollar amount, the date, which will become more relevant if the date is, is uh, electronic transfers are used and less relevant if they're physical checks but then you have the check number if there's a physical check. Now also note that this one here was written in January, even though it cleared in February. So what does that mean when I, when I add this, it's not gonna change the January bank rec. So if I go to my January bank rec, I have these outstanding items. And so here's our outstanding items down below. I think this is the one we were looking at, is it? The, yeah, the, this one right here. That's not going to go away, but it will go away on the bank rec for February, where we have these outstanding items, outstanding items here. And these are payments, the three, five, I think that's the one, is it that we wrote? Yeah, the one we wrote in January. It'll go away here. It'll have, have cleared here, but it won't be a reconciling. So you see what I'm saying? All right, so let's go ahead and add it and just check that out. So if I go back on over here, update. It didn't change the January bank rec. The January bank rec still has it outstanding, but the Feb bank rec, if I update it, has changed. It should no longer be down here as an outstanding uh, payment for the Feb bank rec. So this is one that was written in February. I think it's the same dollar amount, but it was written in February. So that's not the same one. All right, let's go back on over. Same thing here. Let's greenify this, if I, if I may. Greenify, we're on the 410. Next time, 410, boom. This one also written in January, but cleared in February, same situation, just like you would expect if we wrote it in January, it didn't clear in January, you'd think it would clear in Feb as it did. Okay, so we're gonna say that one is good. And then the 185640, so 185640, also written in Jan, clearing in Feb, cool, no problem. And then we've got the 200 and the 130. Let's see if we can do two at the same time. The 200 and the 130. I'm checking them both off without even looking uh, in between because my memory is like a trap of steel that nothing gets out of because steel's really strong uh, material. 135873. 135873. Looks good. Mui B to the N. Let's do two at a time again, 184687, which had pennies in it. And I even remember the pennies, even though it wasn't a round number. 184687, that's how far my memory extends, which is pretty much superhuman right there. 185640, 185640. That was a long number. I didn't want to try two at a time right there because I had like more digits. And the other one, I don't want to look stupid. 1080. All right, there's that one. Okay. And then we have these two down here, which once again are not on our system. So we don't have uh, those two here, I don't think, right? 500. So here's the 500. And notice it's matching out to the wrong one over here. It's matching out to staples. That can happen sometimes if we don't have as much detail as, as we would need uh, to match these two things out because uh, this one isn't, shouldn't be matching to staples. And the check number often helps out uh, in correcting any kind of problems like that. So if you don't have as much detail to match these out, it just shows that you do have to still kind of be careful to make sure that you're tying these out because the system is trying to match it out on limited information, right? It's trying, to it's trying to match it out on, on just the amount and the date and possibly like a check number if it, if it has a check number 
uh, to go with, and then possibly vendor data, or which would be the memo detail if it has it, which it would have more of that detail if you were using electronic uh, transfers in the memo section. So this one isn't actually right. I need to create something. Uh,